All right, welcome one and all, whoever may be watching this, part 41 of Banishers Ghosts of New Eden. Good news, I am feeling so much better than I was, especially in part 40. I do apologize. Um, I may have been a little bit frustrated and a little bit more negative than usual, and it's purely just because I was not coping well um, with life. And to be honest, I am. There is a degree of frustration with this game and the fact that it is so much longer than I was expecting it to be. Just partly because I need to pivot away from daily uploads, but I want to finish this game, but it's just an ongoing saga, which once upon a time would have been fine, but right now it's like I desperately need to change up what I'm doing. Um, but I just feel like I've got to see this through to the end. Ooh. Well, I guess those could be trees. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now we've got some trees. Uh, all right, so we've got to... Um, Oh, we've got to go talk to Lemmy, which means we're going to need a camp, and that's just going to be back at, um, back in the town. Um, yeah, okay, I guess we can just jump down here. Alright, I'm going to get myself back to the town. Whatever it is, out with it. Oh, now what I say is worth listening to. Only when it doesn't slow us down. You're in an awful hurry. It's as if you can't wait to leave. It's not like that. It's... complicated. Aye, all right. I believe you. All right, look, I understand they're going through um, some issues here and Antea being dead must be a difficult thing to have to like accept and stuff but sometimes I just feel like she is so condescending and like rude all right so we're back in the harrows um I was just thinking I feel like this game is pretty much just going to be all about intergenerational trauma at this point <laughs> they're not yet over your accusations it seems we've got Pennington and his daughter Ooh, that's a house on fire that was on fire. Whoopsies. Oh yeah, okay. I see. I see, I see. And then we've got Haskell and his son. Interesting that both the kids have gotten into witchcraft, which is like taboo for the parents. Conveniently, no mothers, just fathers. Think about... Uh, banishes. You are a sight for sore eyes. And I do admit my eyes are sore. Lamentation. Or are you the Honourable Mr. Haskell now? Are we interrupting? Yes, you are. But your interruption is the latest of many. Things are not going well. We found a page ripped from a book. Yeah, do you recognize it? Let me see. Is this from the Trismegistus riddles? <laughs> yes, it seems to be. Why would you bring me one mildew page from an amusing but harmless little book? Why would you fail to disclose that you'd given another ritual to another friend? It was a long time ago. I said after Caleb I'd distribute no more rituals, and that's what I've done. Uh, not done. We know. But we're looking for Grace Pennington now, and we were hoping you'd help us find her. Who? Really, boy? Oh, I'm sorry, Mistress Antea. You said Grace's name, and it is my reflex to protect her. When was the last time you saw Grace Pennington? It had to be a few days after I brought her the cloaking ritual. When I returned to visit, the hut had disappeared. Which makes sense now that I think of it. That's it? You never again tried to find your best friend. Your only friend. Well, you see, 
Some weeks later, the first whispers of witchcraft started to fly about town. I kept my head down, and Grace was better off out of it. I was right. And I'm glad she escaped. Strange to think of her again after so long. Ever heard of someone named Seeker? Seeker? No. Sounds like a title, like my true pursuer. This Seeker... Is she... Grace? Is she alive? Do you know where she is? We think she's Grace. We hope she's still alive. We're trying to find out. We think she's hidden herself away behind your dissimulation spell. Then you'll need to unravel it. Shouldn't be too difficult once you're armed with the salient facts. How does the ritual work? It creates illusions so effective that they deceive even the keenest eye. There are more effective cloaking spells, but the Trismegistus riddles do have a simple elegance. The short version, please. Ending with how we break it. Yes, yes, of course. To achieve that, all you need is the caster's full name and the symbol used to make fast the illusion. Grace Pennington and a triangle pointing downwards. Well then, now all you need is a simple counterspell from the same book and... Oh, my. What now? I'm afraid I left my copy in the Aralu. In the void. That's just great. Just great. Yes, but in my defense, once you've retrieved the book, dispelling Grace's illusion will be like a walk in the park, comparatively speaking. Thank you for your help. Could you tell Grace that I'm still her friend? I'd be glad to see her again. Once we found her, we'll be glad to tell her. Oh my gosh, I just want to go kill a nightmare and end this, <laughs> please. <sighs> All right, where do we have to enter the void and find the book? All right, where are we doing that though? Sort of looks like there's a bit of a particular spot that we need to go to. Uh, okay, so we have to go back to the mill. Far out. <laughs> like, I'm not even sitting here being like, the payoff is going to be worth it. Because so far, this game has been very predictable. Uh, and not the most ex exciting from a story point of view. So, <laughs> it's like, please, can I just end this? I get it. Spirits are bad, witchcraft is questionable, these folks are set in their ways, whatever kind of story you're trying to tell, I get it, let's go. And I guess maybe if I was more like a completionist and into doing things um, to get to that like 100%, maybe it would be more enjoyable, but I, that's just not me at all, for better or for worse. Uh, all right, where where exactly do we need to go here? Is the question. I think we've got to get underground again. Just do the same old thing that we did before. Um, I don't remember how we did that, so just bear with me. It would be hilarious if this isn't the way we actually have to go. <laughs> I'm here for that. You aim for the heart. I'll destroy the roots. Wait, what? What are you talking about? I just want an elevator. Where is the elevator? What's this whole root situation about? Wait, how did I get to the elevator? I've forgotten how this all works. Wait, so we found the crank, didn't we? We found it somewhere. Oh, do I need to go? Oh, gosh. 
I just, I don't remember. How did we do this before? He's like screaming about roots in a heart situation. Yeah, okay, but how do I... <laughs> oh, okay, I see. Oh, are you kidding me? This is like my least favorite thing ever. Just bear with me. All right, conveniently, one on the crank. One right there. Is there a third? Probably. Bear with me. Where, where can I get the heart from? I might have to run around. Okay. Trust me, you don't want to garden. Alright, the issue though is everything's broken. Do we want to talk about that? Do we care about talking about that? Well, uh, do we just take it from the bottom floor? I wonder from an engineering perspective if this is actually a workable system because I guess what they're getting at is the barrels are weights. But then how would you get the lift back down again? Yay, I love that they're trying to make it slightly interesting. Have I mentioned how I know I am of you? Go on. Actually, I do think there was another one of those here too. Maybe I should just check that out while we're here. Once you've revealed the roots, I'll destroy Oh, them. stop it. Why is this now a thing? I don't even think... Is that anything about where we want to go anyways? Got that one up there. Is it just that one? No, there's definitely one down there. It's just a matter of where. Anyways, I'm going to keep going. Maybe it was just that one. Definitely looked like there was a route going underground though, so I thought it might be down here somewhere, but maybe not. Okay, let's just keep on keeping on. What are we doing? Void traveling. Nice, at least we can come back this way, I guess. Um, 
Right, I guess we've got to go find Lemmy's place. Shite. Look, I couldn't talk about it. Couldn't talk about what? You accused me of pretending not to see that you're dead. When? That's how I feel, Red. You have to accept it. I just... I couldn't face your death. I admit that. I rely on you. Your presence reassures me. I dread your absence. I can barely bring myself to think about it. I don't wish to deny your pain. No. I've just tried to deal with mine. Wow. That's... I hadn't thought of it that way. Thank you for your honesty. going this way really just following the marker at this point I don't care so much about exploring this place from where from where does thou come they brought more flames. I'm stuck. Oh gosh. Okay, back we come. <laughs> A little bit too gung ho there. Oh, that's right. They regen, don't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. 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 Move. I was trying to get her to do something. Oh, okay. Yeah, go. Move. Move. Alright, once again we're just going to do this whole run shoot run shoot business except it's going to be difficult. This big boy here regens! He's actually regening quite bad. Oh, please take a de decoction, thank you. My goodness. Uh, I press Q. Over my dead body. Jeez, how have I done this before? Well, we can banish. Let's do that. Got some bone fragments. I don't need those anymore, though. <laughs> I'm done with those. I need, what, like silk glands or whatever they were? I need some spiders. Where is this book? Our book isn't here. Our book might be up there. I might need some help. I might be able to give it. 
Um. Okay, we're going to need to get up. Ugh, I really do like this rock though. I wish we could just look at it. Void rock. This could be a good spot to cross. I wonder what void rock would be like. Oh my gosh, where are we going? Where is this book? Why are we doing this? Well, this looks like Lamy stuff. Only more scattered. Even with the void shifting, the book should be around here somewhere. The Trismegistus riddles. Don't say it as smoothly as Lamy did. Um, yeah, read that in your own time. Got it. That seemed a little too easy. We have the symbol we need. Let's go back to the mountain and find her hiding place. Yeah, please don't say that was a little too easy. I have a feeling leaving the void isn't going to be too easy. This is really just padding the runtime. Why are we doing this? Oh, I... Did you hear that? First things first, Red. Oh no, are you... Oh. Yikes, move! Buddy, move! It's certainly going well. Yeah, I'm aware it's not going well because you wouldn't move. Alright, we're in close quarters. Whee! Here. Oh, get out. Yep, good job. Okay, move! My goodness! Yeah, okay, that one's regening. Oh, move, move, move! Stop! Okay, I'm aware, my goodness, woman. Oh, go! Oh, yeah, okay, I'm pressing the wrong button. That's my bad. Go! Oh my gosh, guys, you're gonna die. It'll be all my fault, really. Okay, and... Uh, naturally, it's in its physical form, which is what I'd need Antea for, but like, she's no good to us right now. I think the issue is we're just in like such close quarters. We are also dealing with the fact that. Uh, thank you. The enemies regen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Run! Jeez, if I do this in like the first attempt, I am going to be impressed. Okay, it's also quite difficult because I sort of have to gauge when she's attacking me versus like the purple spirit. You shouldn't stay in I'm there. aware, my goodness. God, that stinks. I think you could take on a ghost. Yeah, whoops, that was my bad. 
stopped it. Oh gosh, stopped a bit too early. I have another in sight. Oh, move. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out of decoctions. It's going all out. I'm aware, my goodness. Move! Jeez, the reaction sometimes to the controls is like abysmal. It's up to no I'm aware, my goodness. Okay, that's the last decoction. Wish me luck. Move. Thank you. Go. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I agree there, Antea. Whoa, move, move, move. Let's try that again. Get the hell out of there. to attack. It's stronger now. Brace yourself. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I um, dropped the difficulty there and I just put it on story mode because I was like, I cannot be bothered dealing with this. again it probably wouldn't be such an issue if I explored and got decent weapons and jank but like I can't be bothered <laughs> it's just gonna be my motto when it comes to games I just can't be bothered This is a place. It's not the place that we came in from. It'd be hilarious if we're in the mines again. Where the heck are we? Alright, I'll just find that out and then I'll end the video. Ok, 
Okay, we've got an elevator system. Why would I want to use that? Snow. Oh, are we actually back at just Fort Jericho? Okay, apparently her hiding place is somewhere near Fort Jericho. I am so confused. But there was the campsite. Um, so maybe let's get up there. Going to assume there won't be anything too eventful between now and then. I'm just trying to decide when I should end this. Oop, hello, good sir. Consider yourself shot. Are we gonna have to go up like the elevator and stuff all over again as well? We're just like rinsing and repeating everything. As long as we don't have to fight the Harkening again or whatever that was. Uh, yeah, keep going. Which again, I guess if I was interested in collecting all the things, this would make sense now that we've got a new power. Probably stuff around that I wasn't able to get before, which I could get now. Okay, I might actually maybe just leave this here. All we're doing is getting back up to where we were, so it's not really anything that crucial to see. Um, so I might just end this here and then I'll save it once I get back up the top. Unless there's any conversation they're going to have. <laughs> 